right, welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to calculate density from the information given in a cubic unit cell. This is the problem. Lead crystallizes in a face-centered cubic unit cell with an edge length of 4.95 angstroms. Angstroms is a very, very small unit of distance. Calculate the density in grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so do you remember what density is? What is density? We remember that density is defined as mass per unit volume and think about the units, the units of mass and the units of volume that we're looking for. We would see the mass needs to be in grams and the volume needs to be in cubic centimeters. Now how do we find the volume of a cube? Well, the cube has equal edges lengths, so volume is equal to length cubed. So let's begin with volume. Let's calculate that. We are given the length. Now, the volume must be in cubic centimeters, so our length must be given in centimeters as well, but it's not. It's given to us in 4.95 angstroms, so we will need to convert that to centimeters. It is much, much easier if you convert that to centimeters first before you cube it. So we know that 1 times 10 in the eighth angstroms is equal to 1 centimeter, so we'll go ahead and use our dimensional analysis, and we would convert that, make sure your units cancel, into centimeters. Now that we have the centimeters, then we can put it in, our, and cap, in for length and calculate the volume. So now we have the volume, let's work on the mass. Well, we need to find out how much the contents of this face center cubic unit cell is in grams. Well, what's in that unit cell? Well, we remember that face center cubic unit cell has four atoms. So how can we get the four atoms into grams? Well, we would use our dimensional analysis again, and we would remember that four lead atoms is in a face center cubic unit cell, and we would use Avogadro's conversion number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd lead atoms is one mole of lead, and we would then go to the periodic table and use our molar mass for lead to calculate the mass in grams. Again, be very careful to make sure your units are canceling so that you have the numbers in the right place. Now we would find our mass. So now we have our volume and we have our mass. Now we simply put it into our formula and this is our density. We calculate that and rounding to three appropriate significant figures, this is our final answer for density in the correct units. Now let's see if you can do this problem and pause the video and see if you can work on this problem now. Be very careful of units. Always read the units. This Notice this one is in picometers. Also read the problem very carefully. So pause the video now. Did you get it correct? Did you work on the volume? Did you notice that it was given to us as radius? not length, so we would have to be careful about that. There's our mass, and here's our density. 